Hi everybody, it's Father Sean here with another Year of the Eucharist video. And as you know, we've been journeying this March talking about the Eucharist and St. Joseph and what St. Joseph can kind of highlight for us about the Eucharist, what he can show us about the Eucharist, and, uh, and just kind of to be enlivened by his example. And of course, by the gift of the Eucharist during this year of the Eucharist, the year of St. Joseph, there's just so much good stuff happening. And so we're here in Immaculate Conception next to the statue of St. Joseph. And if you've gotten to take a close look at this statue, you can notice that there's something that's just a bit off on this statue. And the thing that's a little off are these here flowers. These flowers, of course, lilies are what St. Joseph's known to. There's a whole kind of story behind that. But I don't know if that's exactly what was originally in St. Joseph's hand. My best guess as to what was originally in St. Joseph's hand was a staff. And maybe the staff was blooming at the top. Because St. Joseph's feet, if you can notice it, I don't know if they're on the shot or not, but they're kind of at an angle like he's walking a little bit. So he had like a walking staff. You're like, well, why does St. Joseph need a walking staff? One of the things that St. Joseph did in Jesus' life is to walk a lot, right? Remember, he journeys with Mary from Nazareth down to Bethlehem. And then when they realize that Herod is going to kill the child, they journey and they walk into Egypt. And then when the coast is clear, he walks back, to, uh, back to, from Egypt to the Holy Land, settling in Nazareth. So because of St. Joseph's journeys that he takes, he's often depicted with a, uh, with a staff, takes that great journey out of Egypt with Jesus. Of course, that's not the first time that people have come out of Egypt as part of God's plan. Part of God's plan leading the Israelites out of Egypt under the guidance of Moses was part of the way that God worked in history. And as they're making that journey, of course, remember the people get hungry. They begin to say, oh, if we just had some bread like we had in Egypt, maybe we should go back. What does God do? But he rains down manna for them. This manna comes down from heaven to nourish them, to give them strength in their journey. It's their food to give them the strength they need to make this journey to the promised land. And of course, when we look at Jesus in the Gospels, especially in John chapter 6, he, he brings up the manna that God fed the people in the desert. And then he brings up, I am the true bread of life. I will give you life. And so this gift of the Eucharist is our spiritual food, right? It's the food that nourishes us so that we can make the journey like St. Joseph, right? The, the journey that we're on of life is sometimes perilous. It's sometimes difficult. There's tasks, there's challenges. And what God brings us or what he gives us is this gift of the Eucharist to nourish us, to give us strength, to fortify us. It's just like you eat a good meal before you're going to go run a cross-country race, right? You need the nourishment. You need the fortification to do what's in front of you. Similarly, the Eucharist is this food for us. The Eucharist is our food on our spiritual journey. And so we looked at Joseph this week, and Joseph made that journey out of Egypt. And just as Joseph made the journey out of Egypt with Jesus, we also make a journey with Jesus. Of course, we're not going to the Holy Land in the Middle East. We're simply on our path towards heaven. And so we thank God this week for the gift of the Eucharist, that it's our nourishment on our spiritual journey. And we ask that the Lord may continue to sustain us through this gift of the Eucharist, just as Jesus sustained Joseph in his pilgrimage. Thanks for joining us in this year of the Eucharist, and we'll see you next week as we continue to reflect on the goodness of St. Joseph and what he means for the year of the Eucharist. Take care, and God bless.